And uh, Dragon being slowly removed from the International Space Station now. Official unberthing time is 3.10 a.m. Central Time. This vehicle launched back on March 1st and arrived at the orbiting complex on March 3rd. The science that is being delivered to the space station and uh, was moved over to the International Space Station complex at the beginning of the mission that will stay on board. There is a Microflow 1 technology demonstration. It comes from the Canadian Space Agency. It takes a look at a miniaturized flow cytometer and how uh, that behaves up in space. Flow cytometry is a technique that focuses fluids into a controlled stream that enables researchers to quantify the components and monitor physiological and cellular activity. It has uh, implications for medical care up in space and also monitoring because it could lead to smaller devices and smaller instruments, which of course uh, up in space size and weight is everything. So things that could be a little bit lighter, a little bit smaller, will help us on future journeys. Also quite a bit of NanoRacks experiments that were delivered. A lot of these are uh, student experiments that were designed by high school and college students and uh, will live on board the International Space Station for quite some time. There is one that came out of the Methodist Hospital Research Institute in, here in Houston. It is a, a protein crystal growth experiment that uh, takes a look at how different uh, crystals behave and uh, form in space. There's also one out of the uh, Riverside Christian School in Riverside, California, that looks at how bacteria grows up in space, specifically E. coli. Riverside also had another experiment that takes a look at battery performance, which is uh, interesting considering that the space station operates on huge batteries right now. But the students want to take a look at does space flight and the zero gravity environment have an effect on batteries, how they charge, how they uh, discharge, and whether they last longer up in space than they do here on Earth. Tom Marshburn now has his hand on the uh, trigger that will release Dragon coming up in a few seconds. Station, we show the field and clear, and uh, Tom's starting to move the arm back. Copy and concur. Coming up on the first departure burn. Burn has been conducted. There goes Dragon away from the arm. This is the first of the three departure burns that will be conducted. They will happen in rapid succession, taking Dragon away from the vicinity of the International Space Station, but uh, Dragon now opening up the distance. The uh, team at SpaceX reporting that the burn was conducted as expected. Everything on uh, Dragon on board is uh, looking good. The uh, Dragon depart was commanded, and the P timer was started, and uh, go to re-enable thrusters. Roger looks uh, both beautiful and nominal from here. Good word, thank you. This view from Dragon looking up at the International Space Station, you see both the Kibo Laboratory and the Columbus Laboratory, as well as the Harmony Node, which used to be the uh, former home of Dragon for these past 23 days. There at the bottom is the pressurized mating adapter number two. That used to be home, the uh, home of the space shuttles back whenever they visited the International Space Station. Uh, but Dragon continuing to open up the distance between itself and the orbiting complex. Departure burn number two has begun. And it has finished up. There will be a yaw maneuver coming up next where the spacecraft will spin itself around 180 degrees. Station Houston on space to ground two for robotics, no response required. Departure burn two is complete, and departure burn three will be in approximately seven and a half minutes. Okay, looks good.
as these two spacecrafts fly together in the darkness. A little bit hard to see the Dragon spacecraft, but you can definitely see the strobe light there blinking, uh, giving an indication of how fast this vehicle is starting to open up the distance between itself and the space station. There on the left-hand side is the station's arm. The uh, team here in Houston getting the uh, space station back into the proper configuration with its uh, handling and steering capabilities. The uh, SpaceX mission director reporting to Flight Director Scott Stover here inside Mission Control that uh, both burns did look good. They're standing by for the third and final uh, departure burn as we take a look at the camera on board Dragon looking up at the International Space Station. The third and final burn coming up here momentarily, but you get a sense of exactly how big this orbiting complex is as this vehicle backs away from it. There on the left-hand side is the Kibo Laboratory with its front porch there full of science experiments. On the right-hand side is the Columbus Laboratory. There in the middle is both the Harmony and Destiny modules as well as the Tranquility module. You get a sense of the Quest airlock there on the uh, right-hand side, right in between the uh, sort of L-shaped truss with the Russian segment. You see the radiators there in the middle and the solar arrays just coming into view on the left and right.